Hi, I'm Marianne Russon from IB Times UK and I'm here today at the opening of Makers Cafe in Shoreditch where the public can drink coffee and interact with 3D printers and laser cutters. Makers Cafe is half cafe, half makerspace where people can grab a coffee, sit on our tables, um, discuss projects and when they come up with a brilliant idea they turn to us and show us their um, um, ideas or designs and we can turn them into physical objects by using laser cutting or 3D printing. Makers Coffee is all about digital manufacturing and it's a good combination to be in the same space with the cafe idea because coffee is all about people coming together, discussing ideas and creating this warm atmosphere and when it comes to digital manufacturing it is what's happening at the moment so people are more and more keen to access these technologies with the luxury of their desktop. So Makers Cafe is just a starting point for these people. We will give them the intro to these technologies and what we hope is they will go back to their houses and they should be able to order online through using our websites. What's happening at the moment is people keep seeing these technologies through newspaper or television and there isn't much going on on street level in terms of a place where they can actually touch the samples and that's what we're trying to provide here in the space so they will have a chance to come and see the actual machine and the idea is they will come with their ideas and they will witness those ideas becoming physical objects. We don't have any minimums, which means if it's just taking our five minutes time, we'll be charging for five minutes and it can be mass production as well. We are open to anything from any amateur level to professionals, so they can come up with their sketches and we, we are happy to help them out providing a consultant service as well to make these drawings ready for 3D printing or laser cutting. At this point, um, you have two options. You can either have the skills using a software like SOLIDWORKS, Rhino or Google SketchUp and you start from scratch using all these geometrical objects, cubes, squares and stuff like that and you create the object from scratch turning that into a complicated object or you can get things 3D scanned so these two approaches uh, would appeal to different kinds of people.